Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm Anon Jr., and naturally, because I just started a live stream, it's nighttime. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> of course, of course. All right. So, we've got an interesting day ahead of us. I need to finish grabbing a couple of resources, and then, and then, and then. And then we can actually get started with the project for today. Um, I need to go to the nether. And I need... Yeah, that'll be enough. Um, I need to get the other kind of trading going. Because I realize that I still haven't done a basalt generator. And I started getting, you know, the lava and the soul soil and the blue ice together to do a basalt generator. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really want to spend a lifetime sitting here with a pickaxe like this thing. And for that matter, why am I sitting here with a pickaxe with this thing? Uh, the one thing I need to get is a coral fin. I don't have I don't have any coral fins yet. Um, yeah, the other kind of trading. So I got this trading hall, and, and now oh, name tags. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I need to get uh, four little four little piglins, and, and get um you know this little piggy went to the market. This little piggy took some gold. This little piggy gave soul sand. I don't know how to finish that one out. But you kind of get the idea. All right. Um, I'll need a little bit of that handy. Uh, let's see. I'm referencing the design we did for on last season's server. Um, oh, I need... Stole, stole, stole. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm pro. No, I don't need. Re I need. Uh, I don't need that. I do need. I need a pressure plate. What kind of pressure plate do I want? Do I just want to do another crimson pressure plate? I'm just going to do another crimson pressure plate. Um, it kind of fits in with the idiom, so to speak. And I need soul sand. Yeah. Uh, soul sand. There's a pressure plate on the soul sand. I need... Ooh, I forgot to check if that was a dispenser or a dropper. I think that was... I don't, I don't know that it actually matters for this build. Um, <clears throat> let me craft up another dispenser. I, I replenished a little bit of my cobblestone stock, knowing that I was going to have stuff to build. No, sorry, dropper, not dispenser. Um, dropper should be fine. Find out in a minute, won't we? Uh... So I'm gonna oh I'm gonna need some building blocks. What what even do I want to build the actual like structure structure around it? Uh, I might save that for later. Kind of like I did with another build. Um, although that one's going to get expanded. Uh, depending on how <clears throat> sorry, depending on how long it takes to. Uh, get this thing going, and um, if I need to end up giving somebody a ride home from work or not, uh, I I will come back and start working on expanding that out. That that's actually been this has been this has been a very good investment of time. It's been a fairly productive farm. I don't know if footprint wise it is as productive as the old melon pumpkin farm or not the one that uh, medic built, but I mean th this this is just an hour or so of AFK and I mean that, that's not that's not bad at all. Um, 
I, I wouldn't mind having a little more in the way of melons, but that's, that's still not that bad. And, and I don't know if that was a full hour or not. I, I meant to time it, but I short-term memory something or other. Can't remember what it's called. All right, so I I need glass. I need a couple hoppers and some chests. I don't think I'm going to do a hopper feeding into the dropper for the gold because I don't... Um, I'm not too worried about have feeding that much gold into it with, with the the farm we did the last time we we sent enough items into we had a massive storage system and we sent enough items in there that seriously we we didn't you know it, it was fine uh, let me just grab some planks and stems and you know I'll yeah I'll build something nice with that no idea what but I'll build something nice with that Maybe, maybe I'll use some nether warp blocks, too. Although, I don't know. That's a lot of red. Um, oh, come on. I hate it when you do this to me, game. Although, I don't think the... The, the warped and the crimson is going to lip right together. So, you know what? I'll just go... I'll be Mr. Monochromatic, and Reyes can pick on me later. Uh... Well, she's gonna pick on me later, no matter what. So, uh, let's not let's not let's not try to dress this up as anything it isn't. Um, let's see. All right, I got some. I actually, probably means I don't need that much stained glass either. Um, yeah, exactly. So let's see. I think. I think that's everything. Find out in a minute. All right, let's start building this. And again, I, all I did was take like three really quick snapshots and a glance at last season's farm and, and hope that that was good enough to give me what I needed. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I also need to build a more elaborate bridge. Like I definitely want to put, um, I want this kind of design but like another block or two away because I'm tired of coming through the nether portal and finding 82 zombie pigmen wandering around my place. And this way they think they can wander forward and they wander off uh, elsewhere. Uh, so I give them a nice little welcome. All right. <clears throat> first things first. Where is this even going to go? I... I you, you see how little I've done here. I mean, other than some resource gathering, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm really thinking of just building a platform every three or five, you know, bits and, and, and doing something there. I might build it even with the portal, uh, the main portal, the portal that actually, you know, arrived with the island just because that, that, Gives me a little bit to work with over here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, though. I just don't know. Sure, we'll go with it. Uh, let's... First things first. I need... Storage. Storage. All right, that's going to go in there like so. And that's going to go in there like so. Um, ah, fine. I didn't want to use these to build something like a crafting table, but here we are. All right, let's uh, grab those real quick. Drop that there where nothing's going to spawn on them. Because uh, I need at least a couple of crimson stairs. 
Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing today? So we're going to have that there. We're going to get a glass above it. Um, the glass to the side. I, I hear that. I know exactly how that goes. Alright, let's uh, give myself a little more space to work with around these parts. Get us a carpet there, because the, the guys are going to stand there. Um, Alright, I needed... a clue. That's what I needed. Because they're going to be standing there. The soul sand block is at their head. So that means that the soul sand block needs to be uh, that means the soul sand block needs to be there. Yes. The soul sand block needs to be there. Pressure plate was on the soul sand block. Uh, maybe there was a reason why I did all that behind them here. Yeah, let's do that now while it's uh, easy to fix. Put that there, put that there. Should have brought some temporary blocks too. All right, that's gonna go there. Might actually not need a couple of things that I brought. That's okay though. I'm gonna need to walk them up there. Yeah. Is what I need to do. I need that guy there, right? Yeah, no. Yes. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, that that's actually not quite exactly it. But it should be one of those things where Put in something like that. Oh, no, I need the button on the soul. <coughs> the soul sand. And then, what, I got the magma up there? No. Oh, okay. All right. Where did my, where, where did my other, uh, what? Uh, 
did I lose my... Did I lose a magma block? I think I lost a magma block. Because uh, <laughs> of course I did. All right, let's uh. What in the world? Oh, this is gonna be a bad idea. This is going to be a bad idea. Okay. There we go. Where did my other... Where did my other magma block go, then? It's... Not in the hopper. It's not in the chest. Or... Or did it get spit far enough out that it went into the into the sweet by and by? I mean, that is a possibility. Alright. If I do that, then I'm going to want to hide. That side there. And probably the same for that side there. And I definitely want non-spawnable surfaces over there. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to need to get a glass block there in a minute. Uh, yeah. So far, so good, maybe? Uh, hmm. Alright, let me get that there so I've at least got something to jump up on. So that puts that as an enclosed thing. Let's take 10 of these guys. And what I want to do is... figure out my life. That's what I want to do. I want to figure out my life. Um, huh. Okay. Let me try to go with the original, the original plan. Let's get a sticky piston pointing downward like a so. I want I forgot to bring a wrench I forgot to bring a wrench and yeah Let's just put one of those right there for the moment. Let's just put one of those right there for the moment. All right, everything else is half slabs. Let me go grab my redstone wrench and maybe a couple of brain cells to rub together because 
Who was I kidding when I thought that three... <laughs> uh, three hasty screenshots on a quick glance. That's all I need. That's it. That's all anyone needs. That never gets old. Okay. <clears throat> I think part of it is because I set the storage going sideways so it really doesn't fit the the rest of the thing. So I, I might I might just tear this whole thing down and start start over again. And, and get the get the storage running out the back instead of off to the side. I, I thought I could make a small change on the fly, and that might have been my first mistake. Uh, which way's up? Okay. <laughs> I'd still like to know where my other uh, magma block went, but. I am increasingly convinced that it went uh, over the hill. All right, so let's do this. Let's take this down. Let's. Oh, oh. Uh, and I didn't even catch the step. Dog on it. I know what I forgot. <laughs> no, 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 uh, what I need is <laughs> just a little bit of, uh, special sauce that, oh, arr, I forgot something else too, I forgot something else too, once I get this going and I go to get my pigmen, Go ahead, come get me. <laughs> I, I I need the name tags to actually, you know, have something on them. And I need more than four. Uh, I need eight. Wait, no. <laughs> I've already got four. Because I need to do two things. I need a set called Silent... Underscore me. And I need Larry. Curly. Mo. And shimp. Okay. Now let's try this again. Now that I got my uh, bottle of oop sauce, <laughs> my wrench, my name tags. Honestly, though, my biggest problem is going to be trying to figure out just how much gold I can give them without it overloading the uh, storage buffer. Okay. I should probably brew up some more of that, too. I was down to my last three potions. Although before, I wasn't exactly spending a whole lot of time in here either. Well, once this gets going, that's going to change. All right. So I need to take... Seriously? Uh... Is it me or is stuff getting lost all over the place? The 
what? Maybe I won't tear anything down. Oh, okay. There they are. Well, no, there those are. Where's the, uh... Okay. Weird, but okay. Ah, cranky. Okay. Now I, I might I might even be able to get this to work anyway. Because ultimately I just need Yeah, we'll take that there. before badness happens. Um, one, three, all right. This way, then. We'll go the hopper that way. We'll get the carpet back on because the the carpet. Okay, the carpet pushes the. Piglins up just that little sliver of a bit. And then when we push one of these glass blocks over their head, that puts the that carpet is what puts the piglins hitbox just high enough that the item on here will will um that the item on here will be within reach of them. So they'll pick the item up that will move, that will move the, uh, that will move the, the, that, that's not what I want. So yeah, that'll turn that off. That'll pulse it back. That'll get the next one. That'll pulse it back. That'll get the next one. And on and on it goes. Ooh, I've got to be a little more careful where I'm walking around here. All right. So that is empty. I can... I can actually use just a little less glass in this. Which, oddly enough... Yeah, I know. Oh, believe me, the pucker factor is a little bit higher on this particular build. Uh, let's go ahead and I need... Just for the aesthetics. I want 
to go ahead and put that there with a button. There we go. And what that'll do... Wait. Uh, what that was supposed to do... Okay, yeah, that, that flashes that. So they, they run through the system, it runs dry, I load that dropper with gold, and I push that button there, and it re-kickstarts the whole process until they run out of gold again. Uh, I do, I do want to put a piece of glass over that. And I do, now that I know that that's working, I want to put something there. So that way they're in a box. I want the whole thing covered in glass so stuff doesn't spawn. I just need the one window into their souls. I mean, to, to look at them. I'll, I'll sort out a better walkway later, a less precarious walkway. Um... That is ugly as all get out. That is absolutely ugly as all get out. You know who doesn't care? This guy. Now. And now for the fun part. I got to get four yahoos in there. I've got to get four of the correct yahoos in there. Uh, so, let's do... Let's go ahead and do that. So no critters accidentally go through the portal that we don't want. That seems moderately important. They've got a way to get up here. All right, let's... Uh, Get a little platform and hope for the best. I need the piglins. Ah, oh, and when I break this down, it's going to give me a bunch of extra stuff. I, no, I know how to. I know how to handle that. Never mind. I got the answer to that problem. I don't want. I mean, I want a big platform in the sense that I'd rather have more than less, but I don't want a big platform and that I don't want a big mess to clean up later. And I don't want too many critters spawning. I also want... Before I get too far away... Um, shoot, I needed more of those. Because that is three wide, so what I want to do is I want to go one, two, there. There we go. No gas are going to spawn. Oh, that that is... That is awful. That is absolutely awful. All right. Let me go grab a stone pick from out of the shed. That should also get me far enough away that stuff will spawn. And we'll try to get one of these guys together. The stone pick will let will give me the least chance of actually getting... Um, extra blocks, which, oddly enough, is what I want this go-around. Yeah, yeah. I I'll clean it up another time. But um bum Oh, 
come on. Any other day, there's 82 of them yahoos spawning on there. Did, did I not get far enough away? <laughs> Living dangerously. Living dangerously. Living danger. Oh! 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 No! No! no. Ow! No! Somebody's island is not spawn proof. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, none of you are the fools that I am looking for. Hi, Bob. If you could, I, I just need you to head on over there. And if you could just, you know, head on over there. Uh, go on. That way. Yep, keep going. Yeah, so, something ain't. There, there's a problem in there somewhere. Hey. There you go. There you go. That's it. Off the platform. I mean... You have no idea, guys. You have no idea. So we'll run this way. Out to the edge of the island. All right. Let's see who we got. Who that? Oh, yeah. All right. We got at least one of you. Hey, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Get get back up there. Get back up there. Come on, man. Oh, are you killing me? You're killing me, Smalls. No, you can go somewhere else, good sir. I don't need you, little guy, either. All you do is steal, steal gold. Uh All right. No, oh, you probably can't see that. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, that depends on who you ask. I tend to lean towards functional, but that's because it's me. Hi, oh, little rat. Listen. Uh, hi, friend. Ain't none of you helping me right now. All right. Uh, let's do this then. This is going to be all sorts of not fun. I got too many of you guys.
Problem solved. Oh, oh, and you good, sir. No, no, little guy. Look, don't take this personal. I, I just need you to take a, a, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Come on, man. Work with me. Oh, actually, that seems like it could be very useful right about now. That's some of what I was after. Hey, 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 hey! Ow! Oh. Ah, oh, you dirty bum! This way! Oh, hey! Two of you guys. Good. Alright. Larry... Curly. Guys, don't make me break out the boats. I will absolutely break out the boats. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, are you... Are you for serious? You're, you're going to make me go all the way over there. with me. Work with me. Come on. Hi, this is your life now. Thank you for cooperating. All right. Um, bother. Let's do this then. Oh, no, 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 go up that way. We'll go like that. And maybe some stairs. Will that help? That might help. Alright. Let me get some space base cleared out. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to change that out.
There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get hmm, leather. No, that's not what we're going to see if we can get. <laughs> uh, come on. I already gave you a name and everything, Curly. Oh! Oh! Wait! What's with the hostility, man? Is that what I need to do? Fine. Fine. Yeah, I'm on. Why do I like you guys again? Come on. If I gotta do this the expensive way, I will. Come at me, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're mad at me, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Come on. All because I don't have a fancy hat. That's fine. That's fine. We can do it this way if you want. Is that what you want? Come on with your crossbow. Is your pathfinding really that jacked up? Shiny. Come on. You can make the jump. Up, you fool. Oh. Oh, you bum. Are you kidding me? Does that make your pathfinding happy? Oh, that's right. You get that. Mm, come on. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. You useless pig. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Come on. Get. Dude, no, no, no! <laughs> no, you bum! <sighs> Get 
る。のほう。Come on. Down, down. No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. No! Get in. Don't make me punch you. I will punch you. And I'll give you a piece of gold afterwards. Get in the hole and you get a piece of gold. That works. Good. Jerk. That's two down. <laughs> oh. All right, now my problem is I've got a bunch of the zombie guys, but not the ones that I want. And that one Enderman. Seriously? Or did that do him in? Come on, man. Are you the dumbest Enderman to ever Enderman? Oh! 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 Nope! I'm just the dumbest Minecrafter to ever Minecraft! Ah! No! No! Nope! 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 Time to nope! Oops! 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 Mistakes were made. Oh! Mistakes were made! Well then. So, that happened. Oh, because <laughs> I picked up some of the spectral arrows. I was like, what? Did the other guys disappear? Did 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 you guys forget? Are we out of uh, range? Oh oh oh! Beautiful! Oh shoot! You're not named. Oh, you bum! All right. Um. I need you to stay right there. <laughs> I'll be back for you. Did he's in there already, isn't he? Larry, Curly, you guy. Larry, Curly, jump. Oh, beautiful. And actually, since that means I got number four over there, I'm going to go ahead and preemptively take this down. Oh, come on. The whole reason why I'm doing this with a stone pickaxe is so I don't get all this extra stuff. Hey, Wooly. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm glad somebody noticed and appreciated. <laughs> Although I'm kind of surprised Beach Duck didn't uh, comment on that now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, 
come on. I didn't touch him. See, I didn't touch him. I didn't do anything. A box randomly spawned there. It's not my fault. This time. Directly. <laughs> Seriously. The whole point of using... Oh, crikey. All right, I'm not going to break that until uh, these guys are safely in boxes. All right. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that one. Be believe me. Uh, they're, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Oh. Well, that's unhelpful. Hello, inventory, my old friend. Alright, so he's the only, he's the last remaining person I don't want alive. Beautiful. Everybody's named. All right, look. Let's, uh... Hey! Hey, what's with the aggression? What did I do to you? Yet. I didn't hit you. I, I even have my, my hat of diplomacy. Fine. We, we can play it this way. Oh, did I climb the stairs too fast for you there? Come on, Shemp. No, Mo. Shemp is already in the hole. What? Seriously? You're not mad at me now? How about now? Yeah, I'm a... Oh, come on. Up the stairs. You... Dude, you are so lucky. I need you. Come on, man. Do, do I need guardrails? Do I, do I need to install some guardrails? Yeah. Keep a walking. Come on. That's it. That's it. Oh. We'll try this. Huh? How about some of this action? Hmm? Ah? Uh? Ah? Uh? Shiny? Ah? Uh? No, thank you. I was going to want that too in a minute. Ah? Uh? Come on. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um. Uh. In the hole. In the hole. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. And people want more mobs?
There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finally. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> full inventory is full. All right. Uh, so I don't need the iron boots. I so don't need the iron boots. I'm not going to piss them off by breaking any gold until this is done done. I need the piston. I need... I need inventory. No, no, I, I want to keep some ender pearls on me because the way this has been going. Crikey. And to think obsidian was the big part of why, why I was even doing this project right now in the first place because I wanted to I want to be able to start building a blast chamber but I need I need obsidian I, I need a fair amount of obsidian and uh, th this is actually the easiest way to get it so we'll go one we'll go two we'll break that guy there we'll put that guy there we'll put that there and go BAM Oh, and I put the glass in the uh, in the hole there. All right. All right, now I can start tearing down a bunch of this too. But first, let me get the glass. So I can put a block there. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. And what I want to do... Okay, maybe not that much gold this first go-around. Let's go for a stack in a bit. And then whatever doesn't block up when I block this up. There we go. Stack in a bit. Technical term, I know. Alright, all that can go away. That can get filled back in. That can get filled back in. I don't need the barrier there anymore. I wonder what's going to wait for me on the other side of the portal. Uh, I'll leave the crafting table there for now. Uh, I'll I'll do the decorating a little bit later. Uh. Let's grab what we can. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go run. Drop all this somewhere. Clear this out. And then I'll get the farm going. These guys are all name tags. So all four of them should stay there this whole time. Um. Yes, I am going to make sure that I, I actually get a button. Leave nothing behind. Nothing. All of it. All of it. All right. I'll be back for that later, too. There are no spawnable surfaces. All right. Yep. Actually. Just four. I can do that right there, like that. Oh, come on. I thought I'd be tall enough. I am not. I do it like that. Will it still point down? It will still point down. Okay. Which means I can go one more. 
All right, and then I can work on whatever's going to happen underneath that in a little bit. But that gives me one more block of space to go bring... Here, I'll bring string. Ooh, this means that I got a method to get some string that doesn't involve spiders in my mob farm. I think instead of expanding the melon and pumpkin farm, I'm going to go rebuild the mob farm so spiders don't spawn. Because those guys, the, yeah, they make a mess out of everything. And I'm done with that. Oh, 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 forget. I almost forgot. <laughs> that was almost bad. That was almost very, very bad. I forgot I had my security bit going. <laughs> oh, I'd have cried. I, I'm, I just might have force quit on that one. I just might have rage quit if that had happened. Like, like that, that might, that might have been a, a moment of done, absolutely done. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, no, that, okay. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, we got those. We got those and those and dums and those. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, so season three, exactly. Uh, let's get that up there. I'll put that gold away, the iron away, the quartz is in here, that stuff's in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to move a few of these things around a little bit too, because uh, I think what I want is I want the redstone over on this side, so that way everything that comes out of the generator is in this stack of chests. Um, and, and the only thing that's not is the redstone and the lapis. But I'm willing to make an exception for the lapis because that should absolutely be over by the table and I'm not moving that enchanting table again. Um, and maybe I'll just put all the nether theme stuff over there and then figure out how I want to rearrange things there. Um, it, oh, um, where do I want to put fire charges? Things that go boom? I don't know. Is there room in the rocket's chest? No. I will get an elytra by the time this is done. Uh, I can also solve my dirt shortage with this gravel, too. Um, because... Ooh, do I want to keep the wooden buttons with, uh, with the wood or with the redstone supplies? Because uh, I can't remember if I put the pressure plates in with them or not. Well, I don't think I have... Okay, now I got the pressure plates, so I, I guess I'll put the buttons with them too. Uh, I'll figure, I'll sort that out later. All right, let's get uh, potion and leather and glass. I'm hanging on to that one. I can put the stone pickaxe... Oh, I should probably put the... Uh, I mean, gold and iron aren't as hard to come by as they were when I first built the wrench. But that's no reason... <laughs> that's no reason to not be careful. Uh, the string and the zombie flesh. And have I mentioned that I miss automated storage? I miss automated storage. I deeply, deeply miss it. All right. And 
that's when the gas blew everything up and Anon Jr. force closed everything. Alright, uh, let's grab this right here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Silk Touch. Okay. I was like, why did I get the block? I thought I got I thought I, oh, yep, yeah, and you guys are all mad at me. Boo hoo. Find somebody who cares. And let's see if this works. So far, so good. <clears throat> I put just a smidge of delay in there, and we'll see how well that works. We'll see how long it takes them to go through. I don't see items collecting on the hopper, which is good. Because uh, I'm trying to remember somebody doing the math of the number of items they will drop and how many, uh, what the upper limit of what a single hopper can pick up. And I can't remember if it was three or four on a single hopper to reach the max of what one hopper will do. Uh, that's why we had one of the problems we had last season is we had five or six of these guys on a single hopper. So they were dropping items faster than the hopper could pick them up. And we actually had a legit concern about uh, whether or not they would uh, they would actually over overbear the storage and items would start despawning because because there wasn't enough time for the hopper to, to pick them up and move them. And it just depended on what they dropped and in what order they dropped them and a whole bunch of stuff that... Uh, Got a little ticklish there sometimes. But so far, four of them seems to be good. So maybe in in the next season, in season three, maybe the trick is going to be um, maybe, maybe the trick is going to be to uh, set up cells that feed into into a chest a double chest buffer and then and then get them to uh, to go into the storage storage and sorting system although I guess the problem is no matter what you do you're always going to be cranking out more than a single hopper can do so you're always going to end up at this point where uh, you end up with some sort of a, a choke point where it's it's getting pulled slower than items are coming in. Uh, although if you build a big enough buffer, it might not be a problem. Hmm. I mean, with, with um. Let's see. Uh, it thinks I have 39 out of 50 hoppers now that it's finished doing its thing. I've got... No, I do have 39 out of 50 hoppers. All right, so I got 11 more that I can put down in total. Um, mm. All right. I, I wonder what... I wonder what, Man, where did all those hoppers go? All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, five months. Oh, 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 okay. Those four guys and the guy in the... Uh, oh. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, so I got the four pigmen in this trading hall, and they apparently count as monsters. So that means the next time I go to run my mob farm, I'm going to have... Four less slots out of the the island cap for things to spawn in. Because uh, the island cap is at 50 monsters. Um, you guys you guys go through it all already? You guys went through it all already. Okay. 
I almost want to lock that hopper and give them all helmets. Because that also prevents mobs from despawning. But I'm not sure that I want to go through that much work. Uh, given what it took to get them in there. That's not a bad haul. Ooh. I know what's going on these boats. These boots. <laughs> these boats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do have Death Strider, but, uh, oh, wait, is, uh, is Soul Speed mutually exclusive with Depth Strider? Now I'm having a short-term memory moment. Whatever that's called. All right, that's not bad. So, so one session with a stack and a little bit extra only filled up the first two rows. So that means... So, one stack, two stack, three stack. And, and, of course, that's assuming the normal distribution because some of these are stackables and some of them are not. Uh, so, that means that I probably don't want to fill the entire hopper on a single run because I, I am legit in danger of um, overcrowding the hopper. Or overcrowding the storage with just the two. Just the two. Huh. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Alright. Let's uh, drop off a couple of things here. So, sweet. We, get, we got our little, uh, our little piglin trading bit. So I'm almost certainly <laughs> going to be spending some time. Oh, I want to upgrade those. So I'll put the high-end potion of fire resistance in there. Uh, and and then and no one then. And then I'll go handle the rest of this in just a second. Yeah, now you see why I want to put a little block ledge. Uh, just, to, you know, for reasons. Alright, let's get some of these guys put away. Sweet. Alright, so our leather can get put away. We're getting a little more obsidian, which is good. We're getting some of the crying obsidian, which is technically good, because uh, I, I can do stuff with that. That, that is, that is going to have use here and there. Uh, what I'll probably do is, like, like I do with that stuff there, I'll have the bottom chest for the stairs, slabs, walls, and things that I don't tend to accumulate too much of. I'll put maybe two blocks of those guys. Um... And then I'll start, uh, I'll, I'll start, you know, I could probably make this whole column nothing but the Blackstone variants. Because I fully expect to get a fair amount of Blackstone before this is done. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the fire charges. I don't know, There's there's got to be some stupid farm that'll blow stuff up with fire charges or, or something. I I don't know. Surely there'll be something. Uh, I gotta decide how many of these uh, spectral arrows I'm gonna hang on to. Because what's the point of a... Of a um... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> One more cup of coffee, right? What's the point in having an infinity bow if uh, you're still gonna end up going through ammunition? At that point, I might as well go ahead and get a mending bow. Uh, oh, and before I forget, can I take my boots of featherfall ish? Okay, so I can. I just need 27 levels. Sweet. That won't be a problem. That won't be a problem at all. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I kept a spare one there. All right, um. While I'm running hither and yon, let's get these two guys in there. And to extend the time, 
I need a redstone dust. A redstone dust? Is that is that the right singular? A dusting of redstone? A redstone dust? Alright. Let's uh because Yeah, because glowstone would make it more powerful. And you can't be more fire resistant than resistant. Um I'll toss that in there for the moment. Oh, did that finish cooking every oh, no, not everything, everything. Alright, while I'm sorting, let me go ahead and let that run uh, for a minute. And let's get our iron ingots, our iron nugget, our nether gold ore, uh, our quartz, soul sand. Yeah, I'll separate the nether brick out from the clay stuff. Uh, if I were me, where would I put... There's the gravel. And the string. And fire resistance is one of these guys. And I'll need one of those guys. And I'll need one of those guys. Alright, so let's get the nether work going. That gives me two more potions of fire resistance that I can keep. Uh, the big fire resistance that I can keep over in the nether. Yeah, I'll take a full three and I'll leave the other set over there in a minute. Uh, that's done. Let's get the magma cream. That's doing his thing. Uh, oh, oh, I need XP to, to repair a bunch of stuff. Hello, my little XP friends. Uh, anytime I need a decent hit of XP with a quickness, uh, this is usually is usually where I go. Let's uh, get some iron here real quick. Uh, they won't trade all that iron, uh, but... Alright. And you? And you? Uh, okay. And you? Come on. Who's ready for the second round? There we go. That's almost everything repaired back up, except for my boots just have a little bit left to go. But that's okay. Alright, back to the iron for you. And that gives me another eight blocks of emeralds. And by now, my other fire resist potions should be ready. Sweet. Oh, no, my other fire resist potions should be ready for their last ingredient. And this, this is going to be the tricky one. I need to get some blaze. Uh, if I set up a mob farm in the nether, I know nether bricks. Now, Arcades, you've already done some experimenting with this. Uh, will the red nether brick work as well, or is it just nether brick? And I seem to recall you mentioning it's got to be the whole, the whole thing. Like, not, not a half one, but a, a whole block. Not a, not normal solid, yeah. 
But will the net red nether brick work as well as the regular nether brick? Or... Because I've got... Okay. So I can't take all this nether wart and double my yield out of the bricks that I have and still end up with a, a spawnable fortress type surface. No. Probably not. Maybe not. Don't know. Not sure. Oh, okay. Did, did you try the red and other brick or did you not try? Oh, so you did try it? Okay. Ah. Duck on it. I was hoping I'd get away with uh, doubling out my yield. Although, now that I got the, those four... <laughs> now that I got the Stooges, I, I can definitely... Uh, I, I can definitely get things going a little bit better. Let me... Uh, let me get two full stacks now. Well, two full adjacent stacks. Uh, let's do that. And let's get one more for you. And then one more there. Let's go see. Because uh, I'm curious with the stackables and non-stackables. We saw what a stack and a bit did. Let's go see what two stacks do. And, the, and then we'll go about the business of some other stuff. Hey, Axonim, how you doing? Th this has been this this has actually been a more productive day than I than I was afraid of. Uh, <laughs> I I really thought today was going to be frustration and gnashing of teeth, and um, it, it ended up actually working out pretty good because I was able to get my little uh, piglin bartering bit going here. So I've got Larry Co, Larry, Mo, Curly, and Shemp sitting over here. They get their gold, and life goes on. Now I got to figure out if uh, I'm trying to figure out for getting some of the other nether mobs the way the way you skyblock is set up if i set up a mob farm if i set up a platform of nether brick like the solid regular block of nether bricks uh nether fortress mobs will spawn like the the withers and blaze and that kind of stuff what i don't know and I'm probably going to work on next is if you use the biome changer and use Skyblock to change the biome in the overworld to nether, if having nether brick there will let the nether mobs spawn. Because if that's the case, that might be how I get my blaze. It is uh, just using the, the mob spawner and, and let the water push them off. Although, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the, the water will push nether mobs or if it just doesn't push them as well or, because I don't know that anybody actually worked out the mechanics for nether mobs being pushed by water. I mean, how would that happen? But we'll see. Oh. Do I still have water up there? I should. I haven't seen any other mob spawn. Uh, no, because it, it, well, I would enclose it and, oh, uh, that, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like the hopper is backing up a little bit from some of the items that were down in the corner there. Uh, so maybe it is only three to a hopper instead of four. Because that's what I was worried about, is items sitting there 
moving faster, it not moving as fast as these guys are, are picking them up. So, all right. Turns out that it is not, in fact, th uh, th four. It is three. Um. Oh, uh, the the mob the mob farm design that I was planning is not uh, just a platform. Uh, it's not just a platform. It, it'll actually have a roof to keep stuff from to keep things contained. Um. Uh, I'll show you what I've been doing to get all this gold that I'm feeding these guys now a and uh, to get the magma cream for the fire resistance potions. Although, now that I got these guys, I can cut out a lot of the middle work for, uh, for this. Um, that's what I forgot to do, is to work out um, a way to turn the farm off. In the last version, I had a way to get myself over to that platform so that way I could pick up the gold before they did, uh, which breaks the circuit and allows me to um, allows me to to grab stuff out of or yeah allows me to grab the gold, breaking the circuit and stops them from uh, keeping th keeping things going. Although we're just about done anyway. Um. So while these guys are doing their thing, do I really want to walk all the way over there to walk back or no, I'll wait. Ooh. Can you uh can you extend a splash potion after it's been made a splash potion? I don't remember. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to grab a grindstone. So I can set a, a grindstone over here and make sure that, uh, <laughs> that that I can disenchant all the books and boots that I don't want. Uh, the boots I can definitely go and... Uh, the boots I can melt down for iron nuggets now that I got the carpet furnace going. Um, and I don't have to worry about fuel. That's kind of nice. Oh, you guys done? All gone. Who's a good big Lin? <laughs> Sorry. I, I couldn't help it. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I need to top off that coffee. It's just possible that I'm getting a little punchy. All right, uh, let's prioritize the things that I absolutely must carry. Um, all right, I'll get the water bottle and the regular potion and the soul speed boots in a minute. So I'm leaving three of these potions of fire resistance over here for the next time I'm going to spend a lot of time in the nether. Uh, because this is Skyblock, our, our nether is also... <laughs> yeah. And I see now what uh, x -Medic Frog was talking about with where the island ends. And, and yeah, I gotta, I gotta see if I can extend... Alright, those are the extended... Okay. I gotta see if I can extend the bottom of the island so that it goes down just a little bit deeper into the lava. Because I thought I had set it so that way that uh, the island extended down to bedrock. And so the lava lake would actually be a part of your island that you could collect. Um, that was the intention. But as we see, intentions and actuality did not line up yet again. Um, yeah, that's the way it goes. All right. Without falling into the void. Hi, friend. <laughs> 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 
That that never gets old. Oh, that never gets old. I love it. <laughs> it's wrong, but I love it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh. Let's disenchant that and that. Because I got the one soul speed that I need, and I needed 27 levels. So, eh. Alright, um. Let me grab a redstone, alright? Let me get, uh, let me get these water bottles over here. And while I'm busy sorting other stuff, let me see if I can take those guys and finish them up. I'll toss that in there to be melted. I'll get my blackstone in there. Get my placeholders for crying obsidian. And obsidian. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep a lot of spectral arrows this time. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I don't I don't I do not intend to keep any more oh, that's right, those only stack up to fifteen. I was like, why 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 didn't the rest of them stack? Because they only stack up to 16. Duh. Um, all right, those are going to need to be finished off a little bit later. Too bad you can't run the brewing stand off of these uh, fire charges. Like, that'd be that'd be a alternate fuel source, right? It's fiery. It burns. Like a fine whiskey, it too burns. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. <laughs> Bottom, side, top. Okay. Uh, I need... Soul Sand. I fetch. And leather. If I let you go, are you gonna are you gonna actually fetch me something? Oh, oh, you did. You got me a feather. Thank you. I think. I mean, I say that, but the next time I need a book and quill for something, or or yeah, no. Book and quill is all I, all I can think of that I would need. Unless I'm forgetting something. That is the part that well and truly irks me. That we don't get more nether bricks out of the brick. Same, same for the clay bricks for that matter. Although... Hey, have fun with the dinner and movie. What you guys going to see? Enjoy it. If a stack and a half adjacent is going to be enough to replace that floor. But we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so I see the water dripping, which means that I do at least have that working for me. Um, okay. Let's think about this. 
I'm getting string in small amounts from the Piglin Traders. Is there any reason why I need to allow spiders to spawn in my farm anymore? Because I can't... I can't think of any reason why... I would need spiders to spawn in the farm anymore. I mean, technically spider eyes, but the witches drop spider eyes too. And I only need the spider eyes for potions of weakness? Come here, you. There. I don't like you guys hanging around my door. Um... Am I, am I missing anything? Is there anything else that, uh... I need the spider eyes for? Hmm. I, I deeply feel like I'm forgetting something. But I'd be lying if I said I could tell you what. Ah! We'll just roll with it. What could possibly go wrong? I, I know, I know, I know. I just said that out loud. Oh, that's the dumbest thing you could say out loud. That is the absolute capital D dumbest thing you can say out loud. Ah, it'll be fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh. Yep, yep. I just did that. All right. Let's uh let's get to replacing this floor, shall we? I mean, I guess if I need to, I can always reverse the the despidering of my floor. Oh, I forgot to bring a um a redstone uh power source of some sort cuz I need to I need to power the side that I'm working on so the trap doors are up and the water doesn't cause all sorts of Unnecessary complicatedness. As long as I'm in that... Yeah, as long as I'm in the farm, nothing should spawn. He says with minor trepidation. Um, there we go. I can now power part of the farm. Alright, uh... Let's give this a shot. Yeah, because what, what I've been doing so far is I've got the biome for these two chunks. So we got mushroom... Uh, let, me, let me get up up further. To the chunks that the, the farm is actually a part of. <gasps> oh! I, oh, I got silk touch. I can finally get rid of that extra leaf that I, is where I didn't want one. All right. So this chunk and that chunk are set to nether wastes. And, and so I've been turning on the where the slime farm is. Slimes don't spawn there when this is nether waste, but the magma cubes do as well as the piglins and zombie piglins, and to double the spawning surface, I'll also get that part up there going as well. Um, and then just let them, let them rip, let them spawn. Uh, the unfortunate side effect of that is because the killing chamber is fire and nether mobs don't die to fire, um, it, it just turns into a bunch of unfortunateness. Because I have to kill him the hard way. On the other hand, that lets me take my looting adjacent sword and get a little bit more out of it. But I'm hoping that if I take this spot up here, 
and uh, I'll turn that off temporarily. I've got a bunch of extra slabs to slab this over. I'm going to tear down all this glass that is counterproductive. Now that I got a Silk Touch pickaxe. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to replace the floor with nether bricks in the hopes that Blaze and... Um, other other nether mobs will spawn. Oh, nope. I I don't want to be standing there. Alright, I'll pick you up out of storage in a minute. And I'll get the other side when I replace the floor there. I feel kind of bad because I, I went through all that trouble to uh, texturize and the floor and yep. Although, if I do this right, I might be able to get that uh, Nether Fortress uh, <laughs> achievement out of out of uh, kidding this out. Although I don't remember uh, how many of everything it takes. I probably should have written that down and then written down what I'm putting into this one. Ah. I'm sure it'll tell me whatever I'm short of. Do I want to just do half of this? Oh, and the other thing that I want to do is I want to put down slabs in such a way so that when I turn this mob spawner into a regular mob spawner instead of the nether mobs because uh, I will need to do that like I might turn it into a desert so I can get more skeletons for arrows although since I went with the infinity bow uh, that might not be a problem I should probably make a uh, I should probably make a, uh, a mending bow while I'm at it at least that would give me a use for all the uh, Spectral arrows. <laughs> well, I kind of like not having to carry around stacks and remember to not run out of uh, to not run out of ammunition. I'm not full on in the uh, the mending is the best. Like I know some of the some of the bigger YouTubers are bigger. Like, like, <laughs> like I mean, you know, everybody's bigger than I am. Uh, ooh, so is that going to be enough to? Is that going to be enough to do it? That might be enough to do it. All right. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Okay. Uh, Cause I want to go, I need to make sure that the mobs will still get pushed all the way across. Uh, I know that if I slab up, Do I want to slab it up? Okay, Let, let's stop and think about this for a second. Cause I know that if I go like uh, one, two, three, two, three. Like if I do that, that is not a three by three square. Therefore, it is not a valid spawning platform and 
that's two blocks wide with one block in the middle. So that is not a three by three. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that might actually be enough. I just don't know if the mobs will get pushed around it or if they'll get stuck on it or how that's going to work. So first things first, let's make sure that the water actually, uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So if anybody's standing there, they're not going to get pushed off. If anybody's standing at either of those, they're not going to get pushed off. Uh, what if I put one there and take that one away there? Now, that means that we don't have enough room to go all the way to the end on either of those. Oh, bother. Oh dear. Or I just say forget it. And spiders are the bane of my existence. And that's just the way that goes. Because it looks like any time I put one in there. Uh... Unless I waterlog one of them. No, because if I waterlog them, they... Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right. I'll worry about spider-proofing another day. Uh, I'm still going to tear down the glass because that didn't stop them before. I'd still end up with spiders stuck in the system. <laughs> so uh, rather than fight the unwinnable battle, uh, I'll uh, increase the spawning space. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather manage that. All right, let's, uh, and then we'll see what the, we'll see what this farm yields. Instead of turning on both the top and the bottom of the farm, I'll just turn on this top part here. Because this is going to be the only spot that actually has um, nether brick. I might end up just replacing the whole thing out of nether brick eventually. Alright. I do hate that I'm going to end up having uh, blocks down there that I might miss before I get them picked up. I mean, all this stone, man. I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. I guess I'm going to have to spend a lot more time in the nether. Oh, work, no, the nether working on uh, getting some brick. Although, if I can feed enough gold to the, to the two yahoos over there, or the four yahoos. I can probably get... Um, I can definitely get a fair amount of brick from that. Well, I guess some of that should fall into the water, which should push it over into storage. Oh, oh, I just realized I, I finally can get ice. So everywhere one of those pressure plates is, that stuff has been getting stuck. I can finally fix that and put some ice down and uh, lessen the chances of stuff getting stuck. Ah, uh, I, I need a big honking ice tray now. Yep. Yep. Maybe I'll do that above this farm. Because this is far enough up that I don't have to worry about slime spawning. What I need to do is I need to figure out um, 
how high up to get the lights so that way they're bright enough to keep mobs from spawning on the ice but not so bright as to prevent the ice from forming. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think I'll just build the ice tray above this. Uh, I was tempted to do that with the flower farm, but uh, I think I'll be okay with that. All right, let's uh, get you running. And then we'll get ourselves away from this part here. Any, any, oh. Let's uh, extend our little trap there. All right, so we're still getting those guys, which is good. That means we didn't lose functionality. But uh, what else are we going to get? Hi, friends. I kind of wish there was an easy way to move hoppers underneath these guys or not. I'm not... I'm not seeing any of the nether mobs. Or at least I'm not I'm not seeing any... Oh, no! I won't see any uh, wither skeletons. Wither skeletons are... too tall. Uh... Oh, how tall? How tall's the blaze? Is that going to be the same problem? That's going to be the same problem. Oh. Doggone it. Yeah, I, I think my roof is too tall. I'm like 80% sure my roof is too tall. Well, that bites. Yeah, I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check the height of the of the with of the um, of the words. I'm gonna double check the height of the blaze. But I think the blaze are are too are too tall to spawn in that farm as it is currently set up. Ah. Ah, oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That that just ruined a perfectly good I, I hate it when a plan falls apart. Alright. I picked up everything that's gonna happen there. Let's grab whatever got saved in storage there. And then we'll have a rethink on some things. Let's uh, save every block. Did any others get stuck here? No. Okay. What about up this way? and glass and some more nuggets more 
gold for the gold farm. All right. Well, that at least answers a few things. That that solves the problem of yeah. All right. So I'll still get the pigmen and zombie pigmen off of that platform. Uh. <sighs> Shall we raise the roof now? Let's, uh, ooh. So that is the question. If I raise the roof half a block, yeah, if I raise the roof half a block, is that going to be just enough space without getting Enderman? Because I know if I make if I make it three blocks tall. That's how you get Enderman. Do you want Enderman? That's how you get Enderman. Um, yeah. I'm going to hold off before I do anything else because I want to research that one. All right. Let's get that put away there. And those guys put away there. Let's get our gold put away. Our glass put away. Get our swords ready to melt. Uh, crack brick. And stone and brick. And our nether brick and... Let's get that going and that going. All right. Not exactly a complete success, but not bad either. Actually, no, no, no I, I should say it like that. It was a complete success in the sense that I got the main objective, which was the, the piglin trading uh, bin over in the nether. Um, I've already found out the hard way that you, even if you set the biome to nether waste, you cannot take the pigmen into the overworld without them turning into zombie pigmen. Um, ooh, let's, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. That's another 20. <laughs> it's another 20 sand and yeah. All right. Uh, And another 12 dirt. That's not bad. Actually, while we're at this, let's go ahead and make the rest of the rounds. How are you doing? I'll turn in the pumpkins. Uh, I still got a... I got a bunch of stuff for decorating this. Uh, let me take these melons here and rather than turn them in, let me go ahead and trade them for some emeralds. I am also down to 51 carrots, so I, I want to top off my food before I forget. Hi, guys. Hello. Ow. Two melons short. Oh, uh, duh. Half the reason why I was here. Eh, that works. Alright, let's clear out the old inventory here. Yeah, I can mix. Now, now that I got a decent source of gravel, uh, one of the interesting things that you can do particularly if you need dirt is oh, let me grab it doesn't actually matter which one so you can mix dirt and gravel to get coarse dirt so two dirt two gravel gets you four coarse dirt right so I just took that stack of dirt that stack of gravel and turned it into coarse dirt and then the really fun part kicks in we uh, get some of that coarse dirt out. When you hoe coarse dirt, you get dirt. 
So you essentially have done the next best thing to converting gravel into dirt. It just takes a few steps. Although I might actually keep some of that coarse dirt as coarse dirt. Now I'll convert all that off off camera. You, nobody wants to see that. Um, but I will almost certainly keep uh, coarse dirt. Or was I going to put it in there? I think I was going to put it in there. Because I got the mycelium, the podzel, coarse dirt. I want lots of space for dirt. I set aside lots of space for grass blocks uh, because we had so much of that last season. And then I remembered we're in Skyblock. This this is a precious commodity. If I get a double chest full of grass blocks, uh, I need to rethink a few things. I need I need a bigger ice tray. Uh, I've been using this guy here, and I made one small change. Which has helped and hurt in some interesting ways. Uh, so I put a diagonal of waterlogged half slabs. That means that those half slabs will not freeze over. And once you clear out all the ice, it refills the square with water. Um, and by covering up the pumpkin in the middle, that means we don't have to worry about light killing any of the uh any of the extra squares it it's just one of those things that the it also means that those are not squares that will create ice blocks um on the balance for a simple ice tray that works but what i'm thinking of doing is, is doing this but above that farm there and just set up two two square ice trays with a diagonal of uh, of waterlogged of waterlogged slabs, although I mean, it just has to be a diagonal. It doesn't even have to cross the whole thing. No, it would have to cross the whole thing. Or instead of a diagonal, I could just do an L of waterlogged upside down stairs. Um, but you get you get the idea. Uh, that way I can make a ginormous ice tray and then turn that into a taiga. I just got to get the lights high enough to keep stuff from spawning, but not so, uh, but not so close to the ice that it keeps the ice from forming. Uh, and then what I can do is I can get the ice tray going, change those two, those two chunks over to the taiga and run the mob farm. While, while I'm waiting for the ice to freeze, uh, killing two birds with one stone. Or lots of zombies, whichever way you want to think about it. Uh, although, if, uh, if I turn, if I, come on, sleep, man, I'm tired. Uh, if I turn turn that into a taiga isn't there a isn't there a special um seriously dude don't don't push jubba around i mean a cat would push jubba around but you get what i'm getting at uh isn't there isn't there some weird skeleton that only spawns in the taiga or the the frozen nether wastes of somewhere a stray yeah yeah strays no uh where did i leave my stone cutter hey uh can i borrow this oh yeah that's right there's a lot more a lot more special blocks um Uh, yeah, let's uh, 
let's do this. Let's go like that. All right, that's all the polished, polished everything. And let's put... Fancy Blackstone. So we'll have Blackstone Slabs and Stairs, Blackstone, Blackstone, Fancy Blackstone. And we'll have Chiseled. We'll have Polished Stairs, Slabs, Walls. I'll fill in the rest of those. Uh, that'll be the raw blackstone, and that'll be the raw blackstone stairs, slabs, and walls. Um, I thought there was a... Uh, I thought I was missing another one, too. Like, yeah, the, the bricks. I'll probably put... I'll probably put... Oh! Uh, at least one of just the bricks alone. Side, bottom, side, top. Uh, let's see. What else we got? How you do it. How you do it. So we got the regular slabs. We got the regular stairs. We got the regular wall. Chiseled already has a home. Um, oops, more than I meant. Did I already find? Yeah, I already found. I put all the polished and the chiseled in the fancy box. Uh, I got the bricks in their own box. We're going to go blackstone. Stairs. Slabs, walls, we got Blackstone, stairs, Blackstone, slabs, Blackstone, walls, And I'll, I'll suss out the rest. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. I've gone on a little longer than I should have. I successfully finished the project. I partially finished that project. I, I need to look at the mob heights to see if raising the roof is a smart idea or not. If I can raise it enough to allow the wither skeletons and blaze to spawn but not Ghasts and not Endermen. Actually, I wonder if... Uh, actually, I wonder if making it three high and just putting a trap door across the top is enough. And I think what I also might do is add a second layer to that farm regardless. Uh, but I'll need, to get, I'll need to get more Nether Brick because that took a, a stack and a bit, and I'm already out. Um, I could... 
those four nether brick only give me a stack and it took more than that so yeah well we'll, we'll see how that goes all right let me uh let me go ahead and do the smart thing and say thank you for joining along i hope you had fun every tuesday at 6 30 p.m u.s eastern is definitely coffee craft and fridays at 6 30 p.m is normally games revisited I wasn't sure if I was going to have to cut this one short because I wasn't sure if somebody was going to need to ride home or not. So I opted to I opted to just do another coffee craft. Uh, I, I I know for the last month I've been promising to get back on track. I will get back on track. I just don't have an ETA. Uh, life has been a little little special here lately. So let's go find somebody to raid all all two of us. And let's go send all two of us over to Beast Lord. He's playing Pillars of Eternity. He's a good guy. If you haven't already, give him a follow. And uh, and I'll see you next time. So I'm going to hit the title card, stick around for the raid, and see you later. <laughs>